Lanzi, I'm just starting to think wherever there's Lebu Kwesa and her wife, uh, Latoya Makene, there's always scandals and trouble and drama. Now, the cases were opened after the pair attended a party in Madrid on January 13, where Lebu was involved in a scuffle while allegedly defending Latoya, who claimed she was sexually attacked. But thus, a twist to the whole thing. And here's what allegedly really happened. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello, and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Namzanzi, the actress Latoya McKenna Pulumo opened a sexual offense case against a man unknown to her while her wife Lebu Kwesa has been charged with malicious damage to property and assault, right? Now, Gauteng Police Spokesperson Colonel Dimakazzo Silo confirmed uh, police are investigating malicious damage to property and assault charges. He also said a case of sexual offence was also opened at the Midrand Police Station. Now, Matlaka Nolele Dwaba, the owner of a bakery in Midrand, where the party was held, took to Facebook to expose Lebu for allegedly vandalising her business unprovoked. Yeah. That's right. Now, Mzansi speaking to a local publication, Matlaka Nola said it was a police matter. Now, my comment is that I've got nothing to say. I'm not going to justify people who are lying because the truth is going to come out at the end of the day. I'm not going to try to defend lies. I don't want to comment on the untruth. Now, Mzansi, several sources told a, a local publication they witnessed an intoxicated Lebu and Latoya in a heated argument that saw Lebu tear Latoya's traditional beads as she pushed her around. Now, they also said upon trying to intervene in the lover's quarrel, Lebu got angry and allegedly trashed the place. However, Mzansi, this couple rubbished the claims that they were fighting. They alleged that the bakery owner tried to pimp Latoya to men who were at the function and took offense when they declined the sexual advances she allegedly made towards them. Now, Lebu and Latoya said they went to a birthday celebration where they only knew the birthday boy and not the guests, right? Now, this woman said to me, hmm, so you are Lebu Kwesa, I've always had a crush on. I said, unfortunately, I'm married. Do you and Latoya play? I asked her, what does that mean? She said, can you, Latoya, me and my husband do something? And I told her, I'm not happy with this, Lebu told a local publication. Now, Lebu said she ignored the sexual advance invitation and went to talk business with a guest at the party, but her chat was interrupted by Latoya's horrified screams. The actress told her wife a man had touched her inappropriately. Lebu confronted the guy and a scuffle ensued. Latoya allegedly sustained injuries and her as sacred Sangoma beads were destroyed when she got entangled in the fight and tried to pull Lebu out. Latoya said, this guy just rubbed my thighs and touched my crotch. So I'm trying to push this man and I want to try and understand what the F is he doing? This is where my hand got into Latoya's beat and they fell. Latoya was holding me, begging me not to fight a man, but he attacked me first, they said. Wow, Mzansi, what a lot of drama. What do you guys think of this on the comment section below? Please let me know. You know I love to hear from you, but for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hard just the way you like it.